Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? My name is Victoria and welcome to the next part of Wave the Hunter, the main storyline, Suspicious Activity. So here we go. Um, the mission details right here for you. We've had some calls regarding suspicious noises in the area from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. with coordinates I am sending in this attachment. Can someone please check the area ASAP? Thanks. Sent from a new phone. Nicole, Nicole Steele. Wilderness Management Junior. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. This is, you know, another main story quest. Um, I don't. There's something I want to do is go through the entire quest. We're also gonna do task and other stuff. So we need to be at this area between one one o'clock in the night and three o'clock in the night. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's now one o'clock um, in the midday. So we're gonna rest until what shall we do between one and three? Yeah, that'll do. Alright, rest up. It's not that far right. Ooh. Spooky Halloween. Look at all the... The... What's it called? All the pumpkins. Perfect moment to do this main story quest. Is it raining? Oh, dude. Really? Alright, let me turn on my head torch. And then we're gonna walk over there. Somebody's screaming for help. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Screams of help during Halloween. And a red light over there. Right there. Alright, let's keep going. See what's going on. Can we... Do this really quickly. This blinking annoys me. Alright. Here we go. Let's see what we're up against. What is going on? There is a red thing right there. Gun Guns at the ready, maybe? Maybe it's Freddy Krueger who kept that somebody in the forest. Let's have a look. Just the radio. What does it feel like, brother? Is this some kind of joke? Who the hell are you? Hello? Uh, you don't sound like Noah. Noah? <laughs> uh, who am I talking to? Uh, this is pointless. It's April. April Whaley. Are, are you kidding me? Um, no. Why would I? It's, it's River. River Knox. Oh my god, you're the last person I would have expected to answer this call. <laughs> you gotta explain to me. What, what are you doing? It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, it's hard to explain recordings of screaming kids. I was trying to contact Noah. Um, makes sense. Use the it phone. Does? No. Can't you just call him like a normal sibling? Yeah, there you go. Believe me, I tried. He ignores me, so I'm getting a bit desperate here. I wanted to make him feel guilty. Get some sort of reaction. Guilty? At this time of night? <laughs> Why, what's happening? I... It's hard to talk about. Can I help you? No. Yes? Maybe. I'll call you tomorrow. It's late. Uh, okay. It's nice to hear your voice again. Hold on. She's complaining about that it's late, but... She's dropping the... Trap right here. With screaming kids' voice... Kid voices, and then she's complaining that it's late. Alright, Dad. Yeah, um, if you not do this at one, between one and three o'clock in the night, it would have been earlier, but yeah, you know, sure, our fault, I guess. All right, back to, um, the Baradan Ranch. Let's have a look. Use the computer. Whoa. The quest just opened up. What is going on? 
GS Gerald Small. Hello, River. I know this is your grandfather's email account, but he told me you are using it for the time being. Do you remember me? You once took my boat. Why? I think it was Whaley's kids, April Noma. You made a trip at the Enos Lake at night, and your grandfather was worried sick. And then you came drenched, and he squeezed all the water from your clothes as he hugged you. I have a favor to ask you. My daughter is getting married this month. She and her fiancé fell in love in these forests, and I would like to have their first dish as newlyweds be reminiscent of this place. I've heard about their weir the weird blood decay syndrome disease, which is a complete hoax, in this area. But they specifically want the meat from here. I believe it's a hoax like your grandfather says. The dish is something fancy called venison hard escabeche. Am I saying that correctly? I have no clue. People these days. I am surprised it isn't stuffed with avocado, but don't worry about it. You only need to know what we need. Uh, what we need. Two white-tailed deer hearts. One male and one female. So avoid damaging the heart so that the meat can stay intact. Thank you very much for help and welcome to the valley. All right, let's accept that. And we also have Ludovic Volkov, the forgotten book. Hello, River. I've heard from your grandfather that you are back and using this email account. It's not the best moment considering the circumstances, but I'm glad you're here nonetheless. The old man had borrowed my book about fishing half a year ago, and he still hasn't managed to bring it back. Would you be so kind and bring it back to my cabin? Else I might never see it again when he dies and you leave again. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Thank you very much, Ludovic Vilkov. Alright, as for this video, what we're gonna do is the Venus and the Hard Escabeche? Escabeche? I don't know. So, we need to harvest a male white-tailed deer without damaging the heart and a female white-tailed deer without damaging the heart. All right, so let's get on that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm still looking for the next um, white-tailed female, but I'm keep running into these mule deers. This one is a mature male one star, so we're gonna get rid of that. Laying down on the ground. He's moving a little bit, but it's a range 163 meters, zeroing up to 150. Low shot, blood is over there. All right, let's go. All right, let's have a look at our shot. Uh, blood color pink, medium amount of bear, uh, medium amount of blood, and air bubble. So that's looking good. Means that we hit a lung. So let's follow the blood trail. Alright, there we go. We found him after all. He did run for quite a while, so let's have a look. 
All right, let's see. A left and right long. Let's have a look at my shot. It's still... It's not bad. Like, the angle was a little bit weird. Like, we came in here. Yeah, not sure if I like this angle. Should have aimed more to the left for sure. But it came close to the heart, though. Left long, right long. All right, let's have a look. 165 meters with a 243 Remington. All right, uh, male mature, 151 kilograms, that's about 300 pounds, 34.72% fitness level, one star. Uh, let's have a quick look at the hunt, like I said, 151 kilograms, uh, 300 pounds, and we lost 1.08 kilograms, that's about 2 pounds of loss by shot. So, 149.96 kilograms, still about 3, this is about 302 pounds, this is about 300 pounds left. Sell price, 300 gratis. All right, let's sell this bad boy. So, even though we still need to have a female white tail deer, um, yeah, we're running into these male deers, and now I'm running into them, I might as well just, you know, take the shot now and then. All right, I'm going to go back looking for my female white tail deer. Welcome back. We just picked up the other male deer, and I'm running into another group over here. So let's have a look. Uh, two star mill, and I see more mills over there. One star. There are two more up there. One star. I'm not sure if the other is any higher. It doesn't look like it. So this is a long shot, like 200 meters. So. I'm gonna give it a try. Don't think I'm gonna succeed, but I'm gonna give it a try. Bearing up to 200 meters. All right, this is with the Remington. So he looks slow Immediate, immediately. He looks pretty hurt. I aimed low and far to the right. I'm kind of wondering if he's gonna Oh, look at that. Seems like we did a much better job. Let's go take a look. All right, let's have a look. As you can see right here, we hit way more the middle of the lung. And we hit the left lung and we went right through the right lung. So we started at the right lung and then penetrated through the left lung as well. Not fully, but we got there. As you can see right here. Way more damage to the lungs, nice in the middle, so that's a better shot. 191.4 meters uh, for the seven, Remington 783, that's not bad. Uh, 100 uh, mil mature fif, uh, fitness level is 54.59%. 135.94 kilograms is about a 270 pounds, give or take. Um, let's see. So 135, like I said, 135 kilograms, 270 pounds, and we only lost 0 0.95 kilograms. So that's about uh, 1.90, about two pounds, let's say, lost by the shot. Um, Weight to sell, 134.99 kilograms, so still about like 270 pounds. Uh, total price, 270 credits, very nice. Doing good, but still no female white tail there, so we need to keep looking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. There's a big thunderstorm going on, but I found a mature male white tail there of one star, so that's perfect. The rain and the thunder is really realistic in this game. I love it. We're in a good position, we're on his flank. We don't want to shoot the heart, so we're gonna shoot over there. A lot of blood there. So we have our first mill, hopefully. Let's go check it out. What is my zero at? 150. Yeah, that was a little bit much. Should bring it back to 100. Listen to the rain and the thunder, man. It's. Whoa, big lightning bolts. Nice. Alright. Please tell me it was a good shot. Medium amount of blood. Impurities, air bubbles, nice, and they went that way. All right, all right, there we go. I found it. There was a blood trail after all, but it was a little bit weird to find. But you know, there it is. So here we go. All right, let's see how we did. Uh, we shot a little bit high, but 
part of that is my bad aim, but another part is my zeroing was wrong at 150 meters. Left lung and the liver. I really should start aiming down and more to the left. Like for the quest, we don't want to hit the heart, but I should be, you know, aiming down here at this area. So let's have a, a uh, look over here. Male mature 134.49 kilograms that's about 268 uh about 270 pounds almost fitness level 43 percent one star let's look at the hunt uh like i said 268 uh, pounds we lost two pounds for the shot so one kilogram 134 kilogram um we lost a kilogram for the loss by shot 133.48 kilograms left we're gonna sell this there we go uh, the one that's left is now the female, so we're gonna look around for that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I found a female white-tailed deer. There's a group of, um, there's a little herd over there. She's right there in the forest, 136 meters, so let's see if we can take a shot. There she is. Uh, zeroing down to 150. I don't want to shoot... So she is right there. I'm gonna mark her before I shoot. Don't want to hit the heart. All right, I want to sit down if possible. All right, I think that's a good shot. Let's go check. Looks like a good amount of blood. Medium amount of blood, impurities, air bubbles. So we hit a lung. Now we just need to find her. And the trail is right here. And here she is. All right, let's have a look. That was a pretty good shot. It wasn't perfect, but we were not looking for a hard shot. So we were not allowed to damage the heart. But left lung completely through. And then right lung partially through. So that's good. Uh, 136.5 meters shot. Um, young female, 41.2 kilograms. See what we have left. Only lost by shot is 0 0.3 kilograms. That's the lowest I've ever hit so far. So that's pretty good. So, um, 82 pounds, we lost 0 0.6 pounds. So, um, what is this? About 82 pounds is basically, this is 82.4 pounds and we keep 82 pounds basically. So, there you go, 40.9 kilograms, 86 total sell price. Let's sell this. And there we go, Venice, Venison Hard Escabeche is complete. So, let's teleport back to Baradan Ranch of Wigu and then we can visit the mailbox let's have a look here we go River I'm sending you another package with a comic book the story takes place six years later it was a very hard year for me but your company kept me sane. Maybe that's why I agreed so quickly when you were interested in hunting. But I don't regret any single day we spent together out there. I hope you're getting in touch with other landowners in the valley. Some may be overbearing, but they're all good people. Your loving grandpa, Wallace. Some summers also brought sadness. Time heals all wounds, and time goes faster if it's spent with good friends. I am bored. Do you have a better idea what we should do? River, why does your grandfather have a door to the basement in his office? No idea. He says it's just full of boxes, but he won't open it. <gasps> Mysterious locked basement door. Why don't we try and open it? I've tried. Many times. No luck. Boredom is a natural predator of secrets. Yeah, but you didn't have us. What do you think is really down there? Maybe a hidden man cave with a pool table? Maybe my grandfather is a nerd and it's a secret D&D &D lair. Or his serial killer lair. Ah! <gasps> 
What are you doing here? Solving the mystery of the locked basement. This one will have to stay a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Take me hunting. Never. Your father strictly forbade it. Please. Come on, please. He'll never know. But you'll have to promise me something first. You will forever take pride in being an ethical hunter. You'll never stoop to breaking the rules of ethical hunting. An ethical hunter knows and obeys the laws, understands that it is not just about what is legal, but also what is honorable and moral defines unfair advantage as when the game does not have a reasonable chance of escape, makes full use of the hunted animal, cares about and respects all wildlife, measures success not in the quantity of game taken, but by the quality of the chase, knows their limitations and stretches the stalk, not the shot, takes pride in the decisions they make in the field and takes full responsibility for their actions. Only unethical hunters say it's hard being ethical when nobody's watching. And that's how it started. I couldn't agree more on the part of ethical hunting. It's so important. So yeah, um, I think this is a perfect moment to end this video hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you like what i'm trying to do in this channel then please consider subscribing and also hope to see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and listening have a great day bye bye